It turns out that fourth time's the charm. Israel Adesanya finally beats Alex Pereira with a second round knockout. Not TKO, cold knockout. Pereira hitting the deck and not getting back up. And it wasn't a fight that Alex Pereira was doing very well. I mean, Pereira was landing really good leg kicks, buckled the leg a few times, seemed to be damaging both legs with those calf kicks. I mean, the leg kicking damage was so much that there were a couple times where Pereira would land a calf kick on that left leg and it forced Adesanya to switch stances. It's very strange the way he throws it, and when he connects it on your calf, he lands on it with the inside of his own leg. He's not landing straight into it with his shin bone, he's landing with the side of his shin, it's weird. And as you know from Pereira's stance, it's so square to his opponent, it's hard to see him firing out those kicks, because it doesn't need to rotate. He lands so many of them, that Izzy was having a hard time with those, and notice the whole time Pereira's throwing that kick, Adesanya never even reacted to it. That's how seamless it was, that's how hard it was to see coming. Adesanya didn't even react to the kick when it was coming at him. He didn't see it at all. Calf kicks eventually led up to that pressure from Pereira in that second round that led him to start unloading on what he thought was a hurt Adesanya. He was hunting for the finish, but it turns out that Adesanya was looking for the perfect shot there. He says that he was playing possum a little bit, backing up a bit, and he ultimately found the final blow to land on Alex Pereira. He threw an overhand right while covering up, but his eyes were on Pereira. A lot of guys will cover up under that kind of fire, especially the kind of fire that someone as powerful as Pereira is able to throw at you, and not look at the opponent. Their eyes are on the ground, they're panicking and stuff like that. Adesanya's eyes were on Pereira the whole time. He was blocking, he was covering up, he was leaning back into the cage to avoid all the kind of damage, even the knee was coming up, the body shots, all of it. He actually landed every single shot besides that one left hook on the guard. So he landed a right hook to the body, he landed the knee up high, and he also landed the left hook around the guard, which got partially blocked. So this shows how precise Pereira is, and also showed to Adesanya that he has to get something going here, right? He can't just sit under the fire because Pereira's landing on him. These are not shots that Adesanya is defending. And Pereira was trying to find that famous, notorious left hook that he's made a name of himself with. I mean, one of the greatest left hooks in all of combat sports. But notice how Adesanya throws a jab first in the meantime. So in the middle of this exchange, right when Pereira's going to look for the next left hook, Adesanya interrupts him with a jab and notice how his eyes are on Pereira still and that's when he fires the right overhand knowing the distance that he needs in order to land it and exactly pinpointing where he needs to land as well. Targeted the right hand because of his jab as soon as Pereira looks for the left hook and not only did Adesanya knock out one of the greatest strikers in combat sports history, he beat the left hook. He beat the best punch that Pereira has with an overhand by what is it? An inside punch beating the looping punch. This wasn't a straight punch, but the punch did act on the inside, reaching the target faster, connecting not only once, but then the second one over the shoulder, and that was it, man. It's very interesting because this fight turned out similar to the way that the second fight went. In the second fight, Pereira looked really good in the first round, they were going back and forth with each other, into the second and then the third rounds where Adesanya was starting to take over, right? Adesanya was starting to land some devastating shots, he was hurting Pereira, even got a 10-8 count and stuff like that, so it is a little bit different, but the dynamic of the fight was similar in the fact that Pereira was hurting Adesanya's legs and looked like he was starting to win the fight in that second round up until the knockout. And just like Adesanya got knocked out cold in that second fight, Pereira got knocked out cold in their second MMA fight. And what is interesting to note is, remember the time that Adesanya hurt Pereira in their first MMA fight? Notice the position that they're in. Adesanya backed up a bit. His back was closer to the fence. And from there, Pereira was being aggressive. He was getting into Adesanya's distance. And that's where Adesanya was able to crack him. Now in this one, Again, his back is closer to the fence, actually this time up against it, and he found the right hand yet again. It seems like Pereira is more vulnerable in this kind of position rather than in the center of the octagon because notice the kind of aggression that he puts on you. When he's in the center, he's just throwing leg kicks, you know, pumping some jabs here and there. He's not doing anything too crazy. He was actually very aware of Adesanya's right hand, moving away from a bunch of them and also pairing that right hand. He was checking some kicks. He was doing a very good job of not taking the shots clean until he got super aggressive looking for the knockout. And when you look for the knockout, you will also opening up yourself to get knocked out as well. And honestly to say, Pereira didn't really do much wrong here, unless you want to be like perfect in a fight, you know? Pereira was landing the vast majority of his shots. He had a pretty high striking accuracy percentage at 57%. He hurt Izzy's leg, landed the left hook a few times. When he had Izzy up against the fence and looked for the knockout, he did land the body shot, he did land the knee, he did land the first left hook. Pereira was absolutely doing a lot of things right. It was just that Izzy found the perfect punch in the exchange which is actually something he's very good at doing. Izzy has shown time and time again to be dangerous in these kind of close range punching exchanges. Just how he knocked out Robert Whitaker, just how he knocked out Paulo Costa, and now just how he knocked out Alex Pereira. 
What Adesanya did, though, was something that I don't think Pereira would have ever saw. Pereira was fighting beautifully out there. It's just that one shot that Adesanya caught him with outsmarted him, and he had the better precision in that moment. That kind of stuff happens. But what's crazy about this is Pereira was looking for the left hook in other moments as well. So after he threw the head kick that touched Adesanya and forced him to move backwards, Pereira was looking for the knockout there as well. Interesting that Adesanya didn't look for his own overhand the way he did for the knockout sequence, even though Pereira was throwing his left hook almost the same way, which could leave some people to believe that Adesanya threw the overhand right out of like desperation or he just threw it out there and happened to land. I think he definitely intended it to land and probably learned from this moment here. So as Adesanya's back is to the fence, he threw the jab, delayed it into an uppercut. So he did this a couple times throughout the fight, but in this fight, never landed it. This is the same thing he did to land that right hand in the last fight with Pereira at the end of the first round. Pereira addressed this and made corrections. He didn't get distracted by that delayed jab in his face. So he pulls away from the uppercut and actually connects on Adesanya with a check left hook. What most likely happened here is Adesanya learned from this moment to know to throw the overhand instead. Because if he throws the overhand, he's gonna be able to dig in with it more rather than the uppercut, which you don't really dig in with it too much, but with the overhand, you're able to dig through with your shoulder. And Pereira threw another left hook that almost landed on Adesanya. Look at the distance for this punch to miss. So Adesanya threw a jab, Pereira pulled on it, and through that left hook. The small arc of his elbow for the left hook, millimeters of an arc, caused the punch to miss. Adesanya's chin was right in front of Pereira's fist. Crazy how close this punch came to landing. And Pereira was definitely looking for the knockout hook right there. He overextended, and Adesanya caught him over the shoulder with an overhand. I do want to put up this one moment where Izzy landed a beautiful combination. So as Pereira's throwing that right leg kick, at the same time Izzy is throwing the jab, they both land on each other, but Izzy's able to walk right through it. This is before the damage settled in on his leg. He throws that right straight, and just misses the target. Actually, Pereira did not move his head. All he did was move away, but looking at the distance of Izzy's punch, you can see that it hits like the front of Pereira's shoulder. That means that even Pereira moving away would not have gotten him away from the punch. Izzy actually missed the punch. So there was a big moment there where he could have landed, but it did miss, but then he falls that up with a switch left body kick. This was the best combination Izzy landed in the whole fight, and that's ultimately the end of the breakdown, guys. Great knockout from Israel Adesanya, putting himself as one of the greatest fighters of all time, but the question is now, what happens from here? Do they get another rematch? Because now in MMA, they're one and one. If you talk about all combat sports, it's one and three for Adesanya. Do you run this back and try to get like maybe Robert Whitaker to fight Hamzat? If they could do that, then I could see the rematch happening again. But if they don't, then Whitaker, does he fight Adesanya for a third time? The only issue with that is Pereira needs time off. He got knocked unconscious. He was out for like a minute. So in that time that he has to recover, and he is older, so he definitely is going to need more time off than someone younger than him. Whitaker could probably fight Adesanya in the meantime, or something like that should happen. But a great knockout from Israel Adesanya. Good performance up until the knockout loss for Alex Pereira. I mean, you got to give both guys credit for what they did out there. I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. If you did, make sure to give this a thumbs up. Enjoy my content. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.